All right, guys, we're going to start with uh, part 25, which is the first part of this other spindle rack. So let's get into it. First up, we have the uh, rack collection here from Scream Factory. It, oops, sorry. We have uh, rack one, which I've seen. The only one I've seen is the first one. So we have number two three genesis and four apocalypse um i've heard the first two are good other than that i've heard the other two are not the greatest uh, we have the superman blu-ray collection uh, which includes uh one uh the regular uh, release and then the expanded version two and then two the donner cut Part 3, Part 4, The Quest for Peace, and then Superman Returns. It's an 8-disc set. I was thinking about getting that 4K set, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Uh, one of my favorite films, um, Turbo Kid. This is the 3-disc Ultra Turbo Charged Collector's Edition. Highly recommend you guys check that out if you haven't seen it. And then we have uh, Tales of Halloween, another uh, collector's edition from the same company that put out that. This is Epic Pictures. This is the four disc release. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, uh, ten different tales on here, plus uh, additional shorts. From some of the other some of the directors that did the other ten, and then there's commentaries, uh, bonus materials, and extra features. There is a CD soundtrack included in here, so pretty cool. Uh, next, we have the Twin Peaks uh, entire mystery, which was just the first two seasons, and I think the movie is also included in here. Yes. Which I actually have a criterion of the of that movie as well, and then we have the uh, the the later part event that uh, was on the air in 2017. This is another eight disc set. It aired on Showtime, and then we have uh, Televised Terror Volume 1. I also have the other two are on the corner there, but we'll do that in a different video. Uh, that one includes uh, Are You Alone in the ha Are You in the House Alone, Calendar Girl Murders, and Child, Child in the Night. Alright, let's start with the first, I think, four shelves here. So, first up we have The Abyss 4K. I haven't dove into that one yet we have the accused with uh jody foster and kelly mcgillis uh from wild eye we have acid king which i believe is a documentary yeah it's a documentary about uh, this infamous um satanic uh, sacrifice in the in 84 so, yeah. Uh, we have Action USA MVD Rewind release with a, with a nice little slip cover there. We have The Adventures of Milo and Otis, which is out of print. Uh, the Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. A lot of these I haven't watched. Uh, the Errol Flynn version of Robin Hood. We have After Blue, uh, Dirty Paradise, which is a uh, Altered Innocence release. Uh, we have After Party. Haven't watched that one yet. Uh, we have Alien Abduction. I really enjoyed this film. It's very creepy it's one of the better uh, alien uh, abduction movies obviously but highly recommend that one uh we have alien from la <laughs> a lot of people don't like this film i i can understand why her voice is 
<laughs> kind of annoying, but I enjoyed that movie. Uh, we have Alien Predators here with Dennis Christopher. I have not checked this one out yet. I should. Really soon. Uh, Aliens 4K. I enjoy this film quite a bit. Uh, we have Alien Trespass, which looks pretty weird. But I do enjoy weird, like, cheesy sci-fi films. Uh, we have All American Murder, a, a uh, Vinegar Syndrome release. That's, that's bloody. Uh, we have All, All Dogs Go to Heaven, classic from my childhood. And then I also have the second film in the, ser in the series here. Uh, this one I don't, I don't remember actually watching. It's from 1996. <clears throat> we have Allegoria, which was directed by uh, Spider One from Power Man 5000. He is the brother of Rob Zombie, if you guys didn't know that. I'm sure you guys did. Altered States, this one I haven't dove into. Uh, American Horror Story Season 6, I think. Roanoke. Uh, from Terror Vision, we have American Nightmare. This was an interesting watch. I thought it was pretty good. Alright, we have Amsterdam, which I haven't heard the best things on in this movie. Anyway, let's see what fell here. We have uh, In Soon the Darkness, the Kino release. I guess it's a little too tight in here. Uh, Angels with Dirty Faces, the James Cagney film. I, I enjoy James Cagney. We have Antitrust. Another early 2000s movie with a really good cast. Uh, we have Antlers. I enjoyed this film. It was kind of on the weird side. But I enjoyed that one. Uh, we have Ants. TV movie. I uh, really got to upgrade this one. This is the Apocalypse Now 3 disc set. The full disclosure release. Well, we have Arcadia, which is a Gravitas Ventures release. Arch Enemy with this dude, Joe Maginello. Didn't say I say his name. I've heard mixed reviews on that one too. Uh, we have all three steel books from Ash vs. Evil Dead, so season one, just something to get protectors for. Season two, which those two I bought at Best Buy, and then season three I actually bought at Big Lots. It is a Best Buy exclusive, but yeah, I wish they hadn't canceled that show, it was pretty good. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, we have Assignment Terror with Paul Nashi. This is a, I guess, a creature feature type movie from the late 60s. Uh, I watched this one on streaming a while back. I thought it was pretty good, so that's why I bought the Blu-ray. Attack of the Southern Fried Zombies. It's, it's, it's a cheese fest, but I enjoyed it. I like my cheese, what can I say? Uh, Auntie Lee's Meat Pies. I thought this was pretty pretty campy, but fun. A lot of people don't like that film either. Uh, we have the imprint version of The Awakening with Charlton Heston and Susanna York. I know there's a, uh, I believe Scream Factory put this out. It's either Screen Factory or Warner Archive. I can't remember. I don't know if this is a Warner's release or not. 
I want to say it was Scream Factory. Uh, speaking of cheesiness, we have the Aztec Mummy Collection. These are so really, really bad movies. We have the Backdraft 4K Steelbook. Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield. I enjoy that movie. And then we have um, Bad Day at Black Rock, a Warner Archive release that I got for $4, still factory sealed at a second in Charles. Uh, we have Bad Influence with Rob Lowe, James Spader, and uh, I think Lisa Zane as well, if I remember correctly. She's in this movie too. Uh, everybody's gotta have a copy of Bambi in their collection. Shout out to uh, Marie. I think I actually have the second one as well. Uh, Band of the Hand, this is a really fun action movie from the 80s. I like that movie. Uh, Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar with the lenticular cover. I haven't watched this. I heard it's not good, so... Yeah, we'll see. We have the Batman Long Halloween Part 1. And Part 2 as well. I know there's like a... There's a, a single release of both together now. Uh, we have the Batman with Affleck. Uh, we have Barry. This is a killer stuffed teddy bear movie. Yes, you heard that correct. This is fun, stupid, campy. It's got Felissa Rose and um, Vernon Wells in it. I highly recommend it. Uh, of course, I have to have Beavis and Butthead do America. Fun movie. Oh yeah, we got Baby's Kids up in here too. Gotta love that. Uh, bed knobs and Broomsticks with the late Angela Lansbury. And uh, uh, Roddy McDowell. The Being. This was a weird one. Nice to have the DVD of this. This is an upgrade. Uh, we have Benny Loves You. This is a fun, cheesy, uh, killer toy movie yeah definitely recommend this one to you guys Benny loves you Billy the Kid versus Dracula of course you got a western horror here more of a, a comedy if you will uh, I never say this name right Biloxi Blues I've seen it, but it's been such a long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I've never seen it. Because I don't remember anything from it. One of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Bingo. I enjoyed that one. We have the 4K Steelbook of The Birds. I love The Birds. We have Bitch Slap. Assume the position... Uh, I have not seen this. I've heard it's pretty cheesy B-movie. Uh, we got the Black Cauldron here. This was fun. I enjoyed that one. Uh, we have Black Circle, which I have not checked out yet. It's a Synapse release. Kind of a modern horror, if you will. And we have from Criterion, Black Narcissus. Narcissus. Uh, found this at a Goodwill for like three or four dollars. Uh, next, we have Black Rainbow, which I haven't watched yet. Arrow release. Uh, Blank Check is a fun movie. Highly recommend it. This doesn't have a Blu ray, this is a bootleg copy, but still cool nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> Blood Hook. This is the outrageously extended version from Vinegar Syndrome. It does have a trauma release for the uh, regular cut version. 
I'm not sure if the regular cut version is part of this or not. I don't think it is. No. No, this is the uh, this is just the extended version. That's almost two hours long. I think it runs a little too long in my opinion, but it is still fun. Uh, Bloodline. I haven't checked that out. Uh, Bloody Murder 1 and 2. Double feature. I enjoyed these movies growing up. This is another bootleg. We have The Blue Knight with William Holden and Lee Rimmick. I have not watched that. Uh, Bodies Rest in Motion with Phoebe Cates, Bridget Fonda, Tim Roth, and Eric Stoltz. It's an uh, early 90s film. Uh, we have Body from Monster Pictures. I enjoyed this film. It was different. Uh, mostly, most monster releases say Region B, but they're region free. So, just so you guys know. We have the original Body and Clyde with Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. And then we have the remake with Emil Hirsch and Holiday Granger, Sarah Hyland. I, like, I love Sarah Hyland. She's a great actress. Uh, William Hurt and Hal Holly Hunter as well. Uh, we have Book Smart. I have not watched this one yet. Uh, we have the Brady Bunch sequel, which are cheesy but fun nonetheless. Uh, we have Brave, which I've seen bits and pieces of, but I've never seen the whole thing all the way through. We have the Brave One, Jodie Foster. Uh, a lot of people enjoy this film, Breakdown. This is the imprint release. Um, I have not watched this. I know, big shocker. I need to. Uh, we have Breaking with John Boyega. Uh, breaking news in Yuba County. For this is very good. So I gotta check that out. Uh, Broken Arrow, classic John Woo film. Highly recommend it. It's got even got my boy Frank Whaley in it. Along with, you know, John Travolta, Christian Slater. Good stuff. Uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf. This is a Screen Factory release. I have not watched this. And I'm going to end the video with The Brothers Grimm. Which I have not watched this either. So, Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you uh, like any of these movies. If you want to check any of them out, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.